Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're taking a look at a couple of wireless microphones called the Voico Lark from Pixel. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, Pixel reached out and asked if I'd take a look at these microphones, and I said, absolutely, I'll give them a fair and honest review. The Voico Lark is a wireless audio system. It contains two microphones as well as a bass. These microphones have a ton of options. You can color your voice if you want. They have different settings for a female voice, a male voice, a child voice, the original sound if you don't want any coloring, and they also have a noise reduction setting. They also have real-time monitoring, which is a huge Huge plus. The wireless capabilities on here say they work up to about 100 feet. Inside the package is a pretty nice case. Inside the case are the two wireless microphones, a receiver, and a ton of accessories. Both wireless microphones as well as the receiver have clamps on them that work fairly well. Inside the package is a three-headed USB-C cable so you can charge everything at the exact same time. There's also a USB-C to USB-C cable. A bunch of microphone cables for connecting to different devices. USB-C antennas to plug into the bottom of the microphones to give them an even greater range. A USB-C to USB adapter, a tripod mount, and a 3.5 millimeter to 6.35 millimeter adapter. The setup of this device was extremely simple. The microphones are already paired with the base, so you just have to plug the base into whatever device you're recording with, power everything up, and you should be good to go. Just make sure everything is fully charged. Now for my first test, I brought the these microphones to the waterfront where it's windy and wavy to really test these out in an outside setting. I made one mistake though. I accidentally had the gain cranked on the receiver. So what you're going to hear is a little bit of clipping that I didn't realize was happening. Okay, doing a microphone test uh, in front of the camera right now. I have it on the white mode, which is the original sound. I don't know if the uh, plosives are being picked up or if I can hold it a little further away. So this is the noise reduction mode. So I'm not sure if it's taking away the noise of the water there or the wind. I'll hold it a little closer to my mouth, see if it's picking up any plosives. Uh, and I'll switch this to another mode here. So what I've noticed with the noise cancellation mode, if you're trying to color your audio, uh, you can't because it's a completely different mode altogether. So let's switch, oh, and test out the uh, tapping of the microphone to see if that makes any noise. Now this is red, so this is the female voice beautified. So probably does not suit my voice very well, but we'll see how this one goes. And I'm about, how many feet do you think that is? Like 15, 10, 15 feet away from the camera? 10 to 12, 10 to 12 feet away from the camera. So I'm gonna flip this over to blue. So this is male voice beautified. So hopefully this suits my voice a little bit better than the red one does. Maintaining the same distance here. Again, I have no idea how much this is going to get picked up in the uh, background noise here, but I guess we'll see. Uh, now we'll flip over to green, which is children voice beautified. So probably not at all suiting my voice, but I might be surprised after we're done filming, but I highly doubt it. Okay, let's check out here. So this is back to white. This is original audio. So what I'm going to do now is move far away and I'll go far away from the camera here. It says it goes up to 100 feet, and I'm definitely not at 100 feet yet, so I'm not sure if this is picking up. This is, how many feet you think this is, 50? 50, give or take, 50 feet. I don't know why I'm looking into the microphone as I speak. So this is the standard microphone mode right now. Don't know if it's gonna pick up. I'm actually gonna point this at the water. See if you can hear the water at all from this. Now I'm gonna point it away from the water directly at me here. And again, I don't know if this is picking up any of my hand noise, so I'm kind of worried about that in this recording, but that's the whole purpose of testing this out. All right, so I'll flip this back over to noise reduction mode. So now we're back in noise reduction mode. I don't know, I'll point this again at the water. Point it away from the water. I'll speak facing the water here. And hopefully this sounds pretty good. I'm gonna put it quite a distance away from my mouth now. So we got, I don't know, 50 feet, give or take, from the camera, and uh, maybe three, three-ish feet away from my mouth. Then I'll bring it right up close to my mouth here to see if there's an improvement in audio. Not sure if you can see me, but uh, 
I am very far away from the camera. So what I'll do is I'll switch this into noise reduction mode now. So we're in noise reduction mode. I'm almost standing right in the, uh, the water here. So I'm hoping that the noise is canceled pretty good. I'm not too sure if it's going to be. I'm not sure exactly what it's picking up. All right, so what I'm gonna do is switch this into, back into original audio mode. I'm gonna walk towards the, the camera here. And I'll let you tell me in the comments below what mode you liked the best. Did you like the male voice beautified? Did you like the original audio? Was the noise suppression good? I'd like to hear your comments on it. I'll probably have my own ideas and my own, my own opinions about it, but at the same time, everyone kind of hears things differently and everyone has different tastes. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this sound test. So now I've brought my wife in front of the camera here, the average tourist. Hi everyone. And we're just testing out, we have two microphones. This does support two microphones at the same time, apparently. So we'll see how this works with us both talking at the same time instead of sharing one microphone. Okay. How do you like the weight and size of that microphone? I honestly don't even know that I'm wearing it because it's attached to my scarf and I don't feel it at all. Well, that's good. So that's a huge plus. Yay. So if I can get you to read something here and then what we'll do is we'll read a little bit. I'll put it into noise reduction mode and also into female voice beautified mode. Are you okay with that? Sure. Okay. So for those of you watching this video, this is going to be a very boring portion for the text because it's not, uh, not that interesting, but what's really important here is the sound and what you're hearing. The charging port. Charging. Use the charger to connect the power supply. During charging process, the battery icon in the LED screen is in breathing state and displays the current power status by different colors, green, yellow, red. Okay, now we'll flip this over into noise reduction mode. The charging port. Charging. Use the charger to connect the power supply. During the charging process, the battery icon in the LED screen is in breathing state and displays the current power status by different colors, green, yellow, red. And now we'll do the final test, female voice beautified mode. Ooh. The charging port. Charging. Use the charger to connect the power supply. During charging process, the battery icon in the LED screen is in breathing state and displays the current power status by different colors, green, yellow, red. Now moving to test number two, I wanted to test these microphones with a low battery just to see how they perform. We're by the water again, we're outside, and I've reduced the volume in the receiver so there should be no clipping here. Okay, testing one, two, and three, testing the microphone, pointing it away, pointing it at the water. Now pointing it towards me, walking away from the camera. I've got it on original audio right now, so I'm not um, not coloring my voice at all at this point. I'm gonna walk away from the camera and see how far I can get towards the water. Hopefully the signal on this doesn't start to drop off. So I'm pretty far away from the camera now. I'm gonna hit the button and change the voice. Now it's yellow, and I think the yellow is Actually, I don't know what yellow is. I don't have the book in front of me. So I'll have to say what it is in the, in the video. So now I'm going to flip it back to red. And I don't know what red is. So I'll have to read the book for that one too. This one is blue. I think this is male beautified voice. This one is green. And I think this is child voice, if I'm not mistaken. And back to original audio. So hopefully you can hear me all right. I'm gonna put it right up to my mouth so you can hear what it sounds like up close. Check for plosives. Check for clipping, I guess. Now holding it a little bit further away from my mouth. Not sure if you're picking up any of the water noise here or the wind noise. I'll bring it right up. Check for plosives, check for clipping. Now here is test number three. I've recorded this entire video so far using the Voical Lark. Right now the Voical Lark is on the original setting, so there's no voice modification so far. What I'll do is I'll press the button and the very first click will put it into the noise reduction mode. So what you're hearing right now is noise reduction. Pressing the button again and that brings me into the female voice beautify mode. This mode is probably not the most flattering on my voice and you can tell what mode you're in based on the color LED on the front of this. So I'll press it again and it'll go blue and that brings me to the 
male voice beautify mode and hopefully this mode suits my voice a little bit better if i press it again that will bring me to the children voice beautify mode which is probably also again not very flattering for my voice but if you have a kid and you want to put them on a microphone, maybe this mode is right for them. I'm back onto the original audio here. And what I'll do now is press the button on the receiver. The receiver has four different modes as opposed to just the standard mode. So I guess five modes in total. The first mode when I press the button here brings me to the recording studio setting. So it changes the overall sound. If I press it again, that brings me to the broadcasting studio setting. And if I press it again from here, that, that brings, brings me to, to the concert, concert hall setting, setting which, which should introduce, introduce a ton, ton of echo. echo. What, what I'll, I'll do, do now, now is press, press it again, again and now, now I'm in the auditorium setting, setting which, which should be, be pretty darn, darn echoey, but, but I guess, I guess if, if you, you like, like to sing, sing on these, these that, that might be a plus. plus. Now for my overall thoughts on the Voico Lark. First and foremost, I was extremely impressed at the wireless quality here. When I went really far away from the camera, these held up extremely well. They didn't really drop the signal. They maintained a strong steady signal and my voice wasn't delayed either and that's a huge plus. I was also pleasantly surprised at how well these microphones performed when they were both connected at the exact same time. There wasn't any interference between both mics, there wasn't any feedback, my wife's voice didn't carry over into my microphone, my voice didn't carry over into her microphone. I was expecting possibly some echo, possibly some feedback, and maybe a delay between both microphones, but everything performed extremely well. The microphones and the bass are extremely light, but they don't feel cheap. They feel pretty well built overall, and they all have USB-C connectivity, which makes charging them a heck of a lot easier. In terms of overall sound, which is arguably the most important part about these microphones, I thought outside using the original audio, the audio wasn't that bad at all. It was actually pretty good. I found when I was further away from my mouth, when it was closer, it still did a really good job picking up my voice and also not picking up too much of the wind noise or the water noise. During the first test, there was some noticeable clipping, but I did have the volume cranked on the receiver by accident. So I turned the volume down a little bit and the second test, in my opinion, sounded a heck of a lot better. Now, I wasn't really a fan of any of the voice coloration modes on this. I found that every single one lowered the quality of the audio just by a little bit or by a lot. The original audio to me sounds the absolute best, and I know that's one of the biggest features they're pushing about this microphone, but this microphone does so many other things that are great, I don't really think the voice beautification part of it is really needed at all. Additionally, I didn't really like the reverb modes available on the receiver. To me, there wasn't really a point to them and they made spoken word a lot harder to understand. Maybe I'm being a little bit critical here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, in terms of price, I haven't seen a price yet. I haven't seen a listing, but if you want to learn more about these, head over to Pixel Enterprise Limited over on Facebook and I'm pretty sure there's going to be more information here soon. At the end of the day, if you're looking for a wireless microphone setup that's portable, lightweight, built well, sounds well, and works well, the Voico Lark is definitely something to check out. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts on the Voico Lark in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.